I'm Abigail Hankey with your NBC 26 update. Kids will return to in-person learning in Green Bay on March 1st. In just a few weeks, pre-K through 5th grade students will return four days a week. Students in grades 6th and 9th will return to a blended model that day as well. Students in grades 7th, 8th, and 10th through 12th will also begin a blended instructional model, but one week later on March 8th. Now you can find all this information on NBC26.com. The Wisconsin pharmacist accused of spoiling vaccines is expected to plead guilty in court Tuesday. Stefan Brandenburg, the Grafton pharmacist, faces federal charges. Prosecutors say he admitted to removing vials from cold storage at Aurora's Grafton Hospital. He faces up to 20 years in prison. And check this video out. New video showing the moment a Wisconsin driver hit a snowbank flying off a 70-foot ramp on I-94. Now, the driver was conscious and breathing when he was sent to the hospital and did not show signs of impairment. A reminder to drive carefully this week with the weather. I'm meteorologist Michael Fish. It is more cold for us. It's more and more of the same. Uh, wind chills not improving much as we head into our afternoon here. It's still single digits below zero. That's probably the best we're going to get. It's something, though. All right, our average high is supposed to be in the upper 20s. We only make it to 8 above today. As far as tonight, maybe not quite as cold as it was last night. 8 below, it's still very cold. And then as far as tomorrow is concerned, still more of the same for us in 8. Now, for the rest of the week, look at, I mean, it's day after day after day of this cold. Uh, every night going below zero. And it looks like we have two chances of a little dusting of snow uh, Thursday night again on Saturday. Not a lot of snow, but a lot of cold.